small but mighty. Look what it is. God, how cute. So these are the things that I did find. Hello. Yes, I know I've got frizzy sure vibes going on today, but I'm just out of the shower. Bear with me a little bit. Now it is a low key day. Um, this is as much makeup as you're getting, concealer and a bit of lippy, but I have a plan for today's video, guys. Since I'm in the area of Orange Running, I wanted to do some vintage shopping as well. So I think this will be either a part vintage shopping vlog or it might just be one big vlog about vintage shopping in Brooklyn some gems hopefully although I pff, sometimes never have success when I'm looking for something specific but I'm mainly looking for cowboy boots because they're all the rate because they're on the range right now and I really I'm loving how people are styling them like the fashion at the moment I'm finding really inspiring in terms of color and prints and just like fun silhouettes if you're not interested but trust me we're gonna make a fun and you guys know me there's always a little bit of a daily vlog normal element in there in between. So let's see what we get up to, shall we? Oh my God, can you tell I've just had a coffee? Shut up, Tara. Okay, so we're fully dressed for our adventures out. My hair is mental, but I don't want to put it up. But this is what I'm wearing. It's just something comfortable that's going to be easy to like take on and off if I see anything I want to try on. Imperative tip for thrift shopping, I feel like. Old ASOS men's shirt, short sleeve shirt. Um, Urban Outfitters top, you saw me wear the purple one. This is the black one, super soft, super comfy, loungy vibes. Uniglo shorts, which I think they still have. And then my little platform, like mini platform vans, which I've had for a year now and I've worn to absolute death, so comfortable. And they kind of go with everything. Generally the kind of thing I wear, bucket hat, crop top, shirt on top, so I don't feel like, <laughs> I don't know, I just like, I like having options. <laughs> you look like a bit of a Bushwick walking stereotype right now, but I think that everyone is kind of a product of their environment, okay, and it's comfortable. They don't look like thrift stores, but that's one. Urban Jungle L Train Vintage is down here, which is the one that I've been to the most. I would totally recommend coming across to this coffee shop, Cave. It's like a narrow little entrance. I don't know why it's closed today, but very nice coffee shop in there, loads of seats. Don't find anything in this front thrift shop, but let's have a look anyway. Let's start at the start. Hey. We're downstairs area. Okay, it's bigger than I remember. My mom would love this. She loves shopping through jumbles, whereas this is so overwhelming for me. I'm on the hunt for a men's fit shirt in like a block bright color, like something like this. Not quite this, like I'm looking for a yellow or forest green. Also, if you buy oversized blazers, you're crazy because the men's section in a charity shop is always so good. Going to the urban jungle I'll train vintage because if my memory serves me correctly, it's a lot bigger. Literally goes all the way right back in there. No sign of anything resembling a cowboy boot, which is annoying because I feel like over the years they've always had a plethora of cowboy boots. of like vintagey dresses. See, this is a bit more like organized by style. It's successful, but we got one more to try. This one's newer and I think less people know about it, but we gonna see. I'm gonna stay optimistic. If I don't find anything in Bushwick today, I'm definitely just decided now that I'm gonna hit up Williamsburg and this always happens. I end up finding loads of things for my boyfriend and nothing for me. No, it's not gonna be a complete fail because I was running some errands and I actually picked up um, two packages, two vintage things that I bought. So I guess it's still thrifting. It's just online thrifting. Okay, last L train vintage of the day. And Another pretty big spot. Fingers crossed guys. Well, look who it is. I'm back. 
It's day two of uh, going out, doing some vintage shopping. I thought I'd show you my look real quick before we get to the point and head out. It's been a couple of weeks that has passed since the clips at the start versus now, but uh, it's all the one. I'm just gonna edit this all together, but um, I'm gonna do a different area in Brooklyn today. I'll also see if I just end up stumbling upon any new ones. These are just gonna be some of my like go-to um, thrift stores that are just like very much kind of well known and loved to me but you can always leave your suggestions in the description below I feel like every neighborhood is just full of thrift shops and charity shops and there's always new ones popping up so feel free to share your favorites I've found some really good online thrift finds which I'm definitely going to show you later on today and if I find anything else today as well I'll just do like a little bit of a haul roundup at the end but hopefully we have better luck. I really, really want to find something in person. But I'm very much the type that just doesn't like to buy something for the sake of it. Like I generally have a list of things in my head specifically that I'm looking for. The problem is everyone else is looking for those things too and I'm too late to the bandwagon. But anyway, you never know. This is what I'm wearing for a little bit of thrifting today. I'm actually wearing this dress. I mean, this is just an old Everlane shirt, but I thought the dress would be fun today because number one, I am going for dinner later, so I'm just going to be wearing this dress all day. Two, um, I just thought the color was fun and it's a bit of a, um, a vintage silhouette. It's not vintage, but it's a very like old school cut. Um, it's from an Aussie store called Pepper Mayo. I do love the color on me. It's kind of this iridescent fabric, which is kind of fun, which is why I've also dressed it down with like just some platform Converse the dress is like a little long on me and the tailoring wasn't the cheapest in the world And also I always need to get things like this altered at the shoulders. So the price plus alteration Would I do it again? I don't know. It's in my closet now and uh, that plus the shirt Is the fit today? I could probably do without the shirt to be honest But I kind of want like a nice little layer on top I've gotten off at the Morgan stop Which is genuinely like a five minute walk from all the other spots that I showed you. A lot of Bushwick is quite industrial, but I feel like this area is like the most industrial, but it has like lots of cool shops. Like this little plant store, um, it's got Say Coffee, S-E-Y, which is a really cute, kind of cool Scandi coffee spot. It's got Roberta's Pizza. So if you end up here at the end of the day, I'd totally recommend going to Roberta's Pizza, which is just down there. There's two or three spots around here that I like. I'm gonna start at Friends NYC, which is kind of like, to be honest, it feels like Urban Outfitters. It's got like knickknacks, gifts, new stuff, but also a little bit of a vintage section as well. Next up, Beacon's Closet. This is probably my favorite of all the Beacon's Closets. This is one of those vintage stores where you can like sell stuff as well. So if there's stuff you're trying to get rid of, I think they do maybe like consignment. Oh my God, how cute. There's got a little cut out window in this little top. This store is probably one of my favorites out of everything I'm showing you today because number one, it's color coordinated. Everything is just very organized. And two, you will find a mix of everything here. It could be Zara next to Chanel. I do feel like overall though, the quality of stuff is pretty good here. Generally, the more organized the store is and the nicer stock they carry, the more expensive it will be. So everything is kind of between like, $15 all the way up to like 50 here. Like I love this uh, St. John's knit. It has a cute little scalloped collar. Only thing is it would need to be like two sizes smaller for me to like get it. And so I feel like this store is great potential for picking up pieces that are like five minute DIY jobs. If you want to cut them up, crop them or get them tailored. I feel like this store has a lot of potential. Like I think like for instance, cute little pieces like this. I think you totally get this cropped and tailored, sleeves shortened into almost little cap sleeves. However, I have learned I'm a bit of an instant gratification person. I obviously used to do fashion. If I had a sewing machine, I think I would do a lot more tailoring myself. But when I buy things that need tailored, they often end up just sitting in the closet. So I will be leaving these, but I kind of wanted to show you some examples of what you might find here. Around the corner from those again is Alberto and Sons, which used to be Dobbin Street Co-op, one of them anyway. And it's unfortunately gone, but I'm gonna have a quick nip in. I think it's mostly furniture, but have a little look.
look what it is. Cowboy boots are we in luck? Get a bit sweaty over here with the masks, guys, but uh, that was actually really nice in there. I might have preferred it to the stuff they used to have. Little Art Deco pieces, mid-century modern, all sorts of like vintage in there. And the colors were so nice. Like everything kind of worked. Like it was like harmonious chaos in there. I'm successful in this part of town. However, in Friends NYC, I did actually pick up like some cute knickknacks. I thought they had all of these like really cute uh, cards. And I always like to buy cards in bulk so I'm not cut off. Also got these uh, cute little corgi socks because it's my dad's birthday next week. So sorry for the laugh, I just could not resist these. <laughs> these are not in the slightest bit casual or generally my style however I loved the shape and uh, I'm going to a couple of festivals next year and I will definitely be busting these out. Okay, I got off one stop before the Bedford Ave stop in Williamsburg stop. I think that one's furniture and this one's clothing but I've actually passed these stores so many times but never have been in them so I made a conscious effort to get off at Larimer. really cool pants here. I think they're new, but like the fit looks amazing. They're like really high-waisted, kind of skatery. Seems to be a lot of like dead stock vintage, so like stuff that's new and like there's multiple of them. out of a 10 foot by Stella Dallas have to say really really liked this one the atmosphere was really good it was quite big it was really organized what I liked about this one is overall it kind of had like a western feel to it which was just really warm and nice to be in and it definitely had like western kind of style leather jackets all of that stuff but it had a lot of dead stock so new old vintage type stuff and also I felt like it was quite categorized by type of clothing and even sort of um decade if you're into that kind of like fitted 70s style they had a lot of um those type of trousers the thing about that store was it genuinely felt vintage like it didn't feel like it was carrying a lot of modern pieces or like secondhand pieces from like the likes of high street stores like zara or whatever like everything felt like it was from a certain era and genuinely felt like somewhere a stylist would shop for like a period movie. Walk to uh, Bedford Ave, Williamsburg, but this is Mother of Junk by the way, which is more stuff, but it, it's kind of like a proper flea market vibe. A little bit of everything in here. Not closed though, so we're not going to stop here today. Made it to uh, Bedford Ave, what some would say the commercial hub of Williamsburg. Lots of stores on here. There's two in particular that I really want to show you guys. Next we have one of my faves, Awoke Vintage. I feel like this is just the safest bet. I always end up getting something in here. Me and Ruth used to come here all the time and the owners are amazing. There's also one at the other side of Williamsburg, which has a lot of vintage denim, but so does this one and it's very organized. Also, this is kind of like a mini mall. So there's a bunch of vintage stores inside as well, but I only have the energy to show you this one. Not my size, sad, very sad. Next up, Amacord Vintage, which is slightly more designer, really curated, really clean. Um, I do think they have like an appointment only store as well for like way, way high vintage, but um, yeah, it's kind of definitely on the nicer end. I always feel like a very fancy girl when I go to Amacord Vintage. Lots of cute like 60s style stuff in stock at the moment. Love. Hello, haven't seen you in a while. Stuff in here is always so 
stinking cute. And they always have the most interesting vintage handbag selection. This vintage store also has some cute stuff. This place has always had really amazing boots. A couple blocks up when you pass the Apple store, there's Grand Street and like in a short little space of about two blocks. There's some of my favorite restaurants, Birds of a Feather is here. It's actually right there, um, Chinese place. Um, but there's also a bunch of vintage shops. There's at least five on this tiny, tiny little stretch. I mean, literally I've already passed one. This is a Le Grand Strip, which is kind of a very themed feeling one. I mean, the window is very 80s at the moment. However, I'm not gonna really go into a lot of these because to be honest with you, I'm actually quite tired and quite hungry and um, they're not some of my favorites. We'll put all of the stores, as well as the ones I visited, in a Google kind of bookmark favorites list so you can just literally save the whole list to your Google Maps app and see them all on a map. Make it very convenient for you guys to find all of these. Hello, I'm back from the adventures. I've just gone and like cleaned myself up a little bit for filming. I unfortunately, as you saw, was not that lucky in finding that much in store, but it's not down to the stores. It's just like, I'm very picky about everything I shop, but I kind of just wanted to go out and do some window shopping anyway. Or as I mentioned throughout the process of making this video, I was kind of concurrently doing some online thrift shopping, which to be honest, I think is more a bit of me. Online thrifting is just so much more straightforward for like my brain. I can just put in keywords, shop exactly what I'm looking for in my size and just get straight to the point. So these are the things that I found over the last couple of weeks. Put the clothing out of the way first because I only have two pieces, I think. And this you would have seen me wear in my last video so you can see me styling it, but it's a little kind of silky shorts and kind of button up sleeveless set. It's an intimate set, but I just thought it was so cute and that I could kind of like button it up and style it as an actual outfit. This I got from Etsy. Guys, do not sleep on Etsy. Etsy has some of the best vintage. Like there's so many actual vintage stores on there. I get my vintage Levi's on there. It's like a place I don't really see a lot of people talking about vintage shopping. So yeah, I got this like cute little set. Actually the sort of 40s and 50s undergarment section on Etsy is, is a real hoot. The thing I got is this crochet kind of a t-shirt cardi piece. Um, this is actually a Poshmark find. Obviously crochet has been quite a big trend this summer and I feel like it's such an easy one to thrift because there's just so many grandma pieces online that have been knitted with love and you don't need to buy it new. And if I know I can get something thrifted, or through like a, a small business or an artisan knitter. That's, those are the type of garments that I would try really, really hard not to buy new, because I just know there's so much of it out there already. Obviously it does not go with this outfit, but um, it's a size medium. I would have liked if it was a small, but I just thought the, um, the crochet pattern was so, so intricate, like all the way down to the edges. And I would actually like wear this with the little triangle bra. It only has like one button but I thought it'd be cute with like a little black mini skirt, leave it sheer with a little triangle bra and some boots, I don't know. Pairs of boots, as you know at the start of the video, the main thing that I was looking for this month was cowboy boots. Um, and I've had these for a couple of weeks. I actually styled these bad boys with this dress already over on Instagram a couple of weeks ago. So these were another Poshmark find. I think they were about, $60. Now, with thrifted, you're never going to find exactly what you're looking for. However, however, they are just a kind of a great standard little cowboy boot for the price that I paid for them. I like the fact that they're thrifted. They look a little beaded already, which I like. I don't love how a cowboy boot looks from the side. I never thought I would ever want cowboy boots, but they're really fun. I know they're pretty comfortable and they look good with mini dresses, mini skirts, it just kind of like gives a bit of a fun edge and I feel like it'll be a trend that's around for a little while. You know, I'm a bit of a prepared seasonal shopper. These are going to be my go-to 
transitional autumn winter boots. Consider this an early warning. These are the style of boots that I think concurrently with kind of cowboy style boots, but I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like something about cowboy boots that's a bit more summery to me or like hot weather. I don't know, but these are like what I think everyone is going to be looking for this autumn winter, a square toe. If you can find a platform, even better, like kind of like a 60s, 70s platform, but I think a 90s square toe heeled boot that comes up right under the knee, that is gonna be where it's at in my opinion. Did quite a lot of research and these are a go-to style that was out in the 90s from Tommy Hilfiger, so these are obviously vintage as well. I got these on Poshmark. There was a website called like Vintage 90s that had a couple of pairs as well. Like, oh my God, listen to this. Satisfaction. A size eight, they're true to size um, on the Tommy Hill figure sizing. Priced above, they are absolutely friggin' perfect. I'm gonna fix the angle a bit because I think that might be a bit weird. I think the height on them is perfect. The square toe is just like so fun and young feeling. You know, we all know I'm pushing on over here. Freaking adore everything about like the height, the fit. I think as well just because like they're vintage and they've obviously been worn a bit, they just have that like comfy worn in feel already. Like I just put them on. And even though like the heel looks kind of high for me in terms of something I'd walk around in all day, it feels so comfortable. Like I don't feel like I'm wearing a heel. Like the acoustics, are you ready? That is a bad bitch heel clack if I ever heard one. Buy of the video. They were about $165, like I said, they are. Tommy Hilfiger. These for me are sort of my um, investment boot. I mean, I think $165 for real leather, kind of designer-y type boots ain't bad at all that are in really good condition. So you heard it here first. Tommy Hilfiger, square toe, leather 90s boot. Just type it into Google in your size, see what you find. There's some kind of like resellers. Anyways, we had some successes um, and I hope you enjoyed kind of running around all the stories with me anyway. If you enjoyed coming along with me, please give this video a little thumbs up. I would appreciate it a lot. It helps my video kind of circulate a bit better. But don't forget, I've been posting a lot of outfits, film photos, poetry, writing, thoughts, self-help all over my Instagram a lot uh, this past month or two. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week for a normal weekly vlog vibe. I'm excited to kind of get stuck into that edit now. Um, but other than that, I hope you have a fantastic freaking week and I will see you guys when I see you. Bye!